Ingalls here at pressure-free.com. For those of you new to my show, I am the creator of the Pressure Free Method. It's an on-the-go stress management. Kind of like a micro that helps you reduce stress, anger, anxiety, and stress. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, just went. Because the other day it was pretty brown. All the Never seen a maple flower. They're pretty beautiful. Um, today, willpower, that's our topic, willpower. So it's one of those walking mornings with me and um, hope you get outside today too. Willpower. It's going to help two areas of your brain responsible for willpower be able to work. So there's two little areas up in here that are responsible for willpower. And when we go into fight or flight, those two areas of the brain shut down. So if those two areas of the brain shut down, it's going to be really hard for you to have the willpower that you want. So I want you to stop beating yourself up. It's not your fault. It's really not your fault. If you're beating yourself up um, because of willpower and you, um, you're probably triggering the stress response because most people trigger it many times a day. And that is the real reason why. So, um, so I want you to cut yourself a break and start to learn more about pressure free. If you haven't had uh, an experience with me, just pop on speakwithl.com. Let's have a talk. Um, let's get you into a program. They're at all different price ranges so we can find the program that works for you, but let's get you in so you can stop triggering the stress response. That's the first thing that's gonna allow these two areas in your cortex to begin to function, and those two areas are responsible for our, our brain's ability to, you to have ability to have willpower. So we're shutting that off all the time in our current lifestyle, the way that we live today. So, um, and Ishmael says it's too windy. <laughs> where are you? Call where are you anyway? Where is it windy? It's very calm here today. Um, hi Rhoda, thanks for joining. So, um, so these two areas, we want them to fully function. That will instantly boost your willpower. And I wouldn't have believed it until I watched it happen in my own life. And it's just such a tricky little thing, but if you don't have areas of the brain firing correctly, there's no way they're gonna work for you. So if willpower is a place where you struggle, let's stop triggering the stress response. That's gonna allow your cortex to work for you. That's going to allow your brain to really start to, um, to function at a much higher level so that you will start to feel you have more willpower to do things. Your brain is also gonna be able to, to remember better, so your memory will improve. And you're going to be able to make decisions better because your executive function shuts down in fight or flight too. Basically, we're just reacting to these stimuli at that point. And um, because these stress hormones have an effect that lasts so long, it can take a really long time to finally feel like you have willpower again. So that might be helpful for you to know. Um, another thing about willpower. So 
pick what it is that you, you feel like you lack willpower about. Pick one thing and ask yourself some really deep questions. Ask yourself the question, does this thing that I want to accomplish or do, does it really fit into one of my highest values? When you ask that question, you're going to be able to figure out, oh wow, like that it really isn't something that's one of my highest values. That might be the reason why you haven't executed on the plan. You haven't had that willpower to do the thing you want. So here's a simple example of that. Um, and I learned this from the coach, Dr. John Demartini, and it's been brilliant in my life. I've shared it with so many of my clients to help them with this. So if you, um, let's say you want to earn more, more money in your business, you have your own business, you want to earn more, more money. You're a parent, and one of your highest values is caring for your family. So there will be this, this feeling that I'm going to have to like add another job on. Well, that means I might not be spending time with my family at night. I remember a guy, a friend of ours, who was a full-time orthodontist who started um, a side business, side hustle, in addition to being a full-time orthodontist. It basically meant he was never seeing his family anymore. Now, if being with your family and, and having family life is one of your highest values, there may be, you, you might see that that business isn't flourishing. Well, that's because it's taking you away from the thing that you value the most. So you need to take a look at those values and maybe you need to make a little tweak to them. And by making this tweak, it could be as simple as I'm going to work really hard at for two months. And then this side business is providing me with perhaps a new book or something. More of these, that's going to provide me with something. So now I have more work. You can make that little, little connection there so it connects to your highest value. If you can connect to your highest value, you Thank <laughs> you.